Hello, friends and family at Mitcon Barbecue. It's so hot outside, it's like 100 degrees. But I needed some, I wanted to make some mac and cheese. Uh, a regular uh, box of Kraft macaroni and cheese. Uh, five minutes. Then I'm just going to drain. Shake it up. You don't, you don't, you don't want to rinse, rinse it. I got my butter. I got two slices of uh, Kraft Singles. And my special secret ingredient is uh, real cheddar cheese powder from Hoosier Hill Farm in Wisconsin. This is 100% real cheese. And I'll add like two tablespoons of this. This stuff is great. On uh, mac and cheese, on popcorn, this stuff is killer. This stuff is, and of course the package from the craft. Put that in. Poor Pepper, you so tired. Put a half stick of butter, butter in there. <laughs> and take the powder. Pour that in there. Oh yeah. Go get my cheese slice. Just you can always add extra cheese. And the Hoosier Hill. Put that in there. Two slices of cheese. Then I'll get my cheese powder. Maybe this will be enough. Alright. Now I'm going to mix it up. Get that butter melted. And just mix, mix, mix. Gonna be good. Mm, mm, mm. Lemmy's already here. You like mac and cheese? All right, I'm gonna mix it up. Final product. This Hoosier Hill Farm cheese really gives it the vibrant color, man. And it's cheesy. And my little twist is some Cajun Slap Your Mama Cajun Seasoning from Louisiana. Just a little bit, a little spice. You see, a little pepper, paprika, cayenne. Can't go wrong with Slap Your Mama. That stuff is golden. All right, I'll plate it up. Delicious. Quick, quick meal. Like 12 minutes. 12 minutes to make this. Because barbecue. You look at that. Golden mac and cheese. A little cooler than yesterday. It's still hot though. Look at that, Mac. Oh, ho, ho. 12 minutes. Mac and cheese. Thank you all for watching. Cheers. Love and aloha. Bon appetit. It's good on popcorn, too. Popcorn machine. Mac and cheese. Look at that. Whoa. I love it. Whoa.
I used to make this when I was like eight years old, all by myself. Eat the whole box. It's gonna be the same one that I put on the country ribs. I got some black pepper, cayenne pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, sugar. I'm gonna eat happy. I mean, I'm using the same basic barbecue rub that I use for all the food. Creamy, cheesy. I don't use any milk. I put extra butter. <laughs> For cooking baby back ribs on my pit, it takes about three and a half, four and a half hours. My mm. pit's going to be running about 270 degrees. When they're cooked perfect with the right amount of rub, with the right amount of sauce, or it's like cow. I love eating. Like Rock and roll, everybody. Come.